Okay, here we are in round one. We will certainly play first. Hopefully open a good hand. Yeah, this is definitely good. Assistant and unburial rights have some very good interaction. I guess if we end up milling our one planes, we're a little bit screwed on the flashback, but thankfully we still get a hard cast out of it. So yes, we we do not want to mulligan. Doom Traveler, very, very solid one drop. Uh, making waves, actually, and constructed, surprisingly. I was definitely surprised by that. I mean, not making, like, huge waves, but definitely a staple of some lists. So, uh, just turned out to be sort of a card that uh, I certainly didn't initially realize was going to be um, as good as it is. Getting these Traveler's Amulet's actually kind of nice. Um, I don't have to worry about the uh, milling out the planes. Uh, him dropping Curse of Pierce Art is actually quite good. Since we don't have any sort of real crazy amount of action going on. But uh, hopefully we can kill him within the next uh, 10 turns here. Alright, why don't we just drop Traveler's Amulet. And I just don't want to even risk losing the planes. So we'll get that. Um, might as well drop it since he already knows it's there. Can't really do anything else, so we'll just get in for one. Actually, no, I, w I want to mill myself. Not in that much hurry. I definitely want to mill myself for unburial rights. Double curse. All right. Well, now we're in a little bit more of a hurry to kill our opponent. Double curse is pretty annoying. Island. All right. And more land. All right. See if we can dump something in there. Grim Grand. No, I want to play that, so I'm going to bring it back to my hand. Next turn, I can drop the Grim Grin and start getting real abusive against our opponent. So, yeah. I mean, I could have unburial rice him too, but might as well get some value out of Ghoul Razor as it stops the Doom Traveler from attacking in too. Which I will block this time, even though it gives him the spirit. Um, I need to start buying a little bit of time here. And I can always destroy it if he doesn't play anything else. I can destroy it with the Grim Grin. Okay. Um, I still want to block it, I think. I think that's okay. I don't anticipate that being a huge deal. I guess it sort of depends on what's left in his hand, but we'll see. Okay, so we're down to 13. Not too many turns left to go here, but... Um, why don't we mill real quick? Okay, moan. Yeah, that's acceptable to be put in my graveyard. Uh, nothing else to do. So we'll drop our Grim Grin. Grim Grin is going to be quite good with the Moan of the Unhallowed when I get to that point. Um, no, nope, no reason to declare attack here. I 
Now, when he attacks in, I could just sacrifice the Ghoul Razor and block with the Grim Grin, but that does open him up for a Morbided uh, Brimstone Volley, which is a little bit of an issue. But, um, yeah. All right, well, now it doesn't, so that's just fine. I will certainly sack the Ghoul Razor if he attacks with both Cathar and Spirit. Just Spirit, okay. He's not going to be screwing around, I guess. Um, nope, that's fine, we'll take it. Alright, so now we'll just go ahead and sack our Ghoul Razor. Untap that, give that a token, or a counter, I mean. Alright, so we're down to 10. Ooh, makeshift mauler. Yeah, you're here at a good time. Okay, so I gotta kill that Feral Ridge Wolf, but how much mana do I have? Three, six, seven. So yeah, I can actually play both. Pretty awesome. Okay, so we attack in with our Grim Grin. And why don't we just kill this Ridge Wolf? And then we. See if he's blocking. He is. He's going to make his spirit bigger. Don't think that's a huge deal since we've got the screeching bat especially. That's fine. Yep. You get a little bit bigger. Okay. So now we play a land. We play our screeching. Why don't we just assistant real quick first. Okay. Play our bat. And... Drop our makeshift mauler. And we'll go ahead and exile this Ghoul Razor. Next turn, Moan of the Unhallowed? Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think uh, end of his turn, totally willing to sack the... Well, actually, what I can do is... Uh, block with the screeching bat and then I could just sack it to Grimgrin. Could also sack the deranged assistant. It doesn't totally matter either way simply because of the um well it looks like he's gonna I mean he's probably just gonna do the bat, I'm assuming. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be taking a little more damage than I would like. I'm going to be at six, huh? Okay. Dangerously low on life here. I'm gonna sack our bat. I can always bring that back later if necessary. Uh, we're gonna destroy his spirit. And, yeah, so we're going to get in with Grimgrin and Makeshift Mauler. Let's destroy the spirit. Get that flyer out of there. See if he blocks. He does. He takes four, which is quite a bit. Why don't we mill ourselves again? Grasp is definitely a sweet game ender. All right, let's play Mona the Unhallowed. And pass the turn. So, I mean, potentially we can just kill him. We can just sack our drained assistant at the end of his turn, and he should just be dead. Uh, all he needs is a... Uh, well, I guess he needs to do 4 damage to me, so he really needs to kill something plus uh, Brimstone Volley, I think, to end it. I mean, there's probably a couple other ways he could do it, but we'll see. He, Torment Pariah Priya is not going to do it. We have a very good hand right now, too, which helps. 
Okay, so... Um, no, I don't want to sack it yet. I want to use the deranged assistant. Just in case. Get a creature. Okay, so sack the deranged assistant. And do I want to empty it? Yeah, that's fine. We'll do everything post combat. I've got enough mana. So let's yep, kill that guy. And that should be game. Sweet. Okay. Well, I'm glad we could uh stop those curses. Those are always a little bit uh a little bit fearsome to go up against. Um uh, I'm not sure if I have any sort of tools I can use against that. Uh, oh, never mind. I guess I do. I have the urgent exorcism. Um, do I, w I? I mean, I have two of them, and I'm already splashing white. Do I want to bring in white cards? Is the question. I think I do. I mean, he's he's running multiple, so I don't really see any harm in that. Is he running any other enchantments besides the two curses we saw? I mean, it's not super likely. Um. I guess this destroys his little flying spirit too in a pinch if I have no other answer. So it's actually pretty reasonable to to bring these in. So I definitely want to bring out non-creature spells for that. The loss in the mist, I suppose, is probably unnecessary since he's killing us with stuff that he drops early. Uh, what else seems unnecessary against this guy? Possibly, probably, actually, the sensory deprivation. I'd rather have the urgent exorcism. Um, I I feel like this will be able to stop more damage than this will. So I took out two blue cards. I think that's probably. Why don't we pile by color here? Oh, I still have quite a bit of blue cards. I think bringing in two more white cards justifies me wanting to bring in another planes. However, so I took out a blue source for that. Hopefully that's not a big problem. Um, yeah, I think those are going to be reasonable inclusions though. Uh, just because of his strategy which seems to rely on those curse of Pierce Heart and white and uh, I guess I there are red spirits, I just can't think of them right now. Because I think every color has spirits. It'll probably come to me eventually. But uh, White definitely has a lot of spirits, so um, those these should come in handy, I think.